Welcome to the Motown India show. We have here with us Mr. Abhishek Jain, Managing Director and CEO of PPAP Automotive Limited. Welcome to the show, Mr. Jain. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here today. We're going to ask him a few questions related to his line of business. First and foremost, Mr. Jain, your company's core competence is in, in polymer extrusion based automotive sealing systems and injection molded uh, products. Now, I'm sure there's a, a lot of technology involved there. So, is there a wow factor there? So, for all the customers, we have uh, we've created a wow factor by giving them a one-stop solution for their complete needs. So, what we've done is we've over the years we've focused only on our core competence to grow this company, which is the extrusion process and the injection process. And we initially started off focusing on manufacturing, but now we are capable of doing a complete product designing in-house, validation, complete uh, tools we can make by ourselves, machines we can do by ourselves. So when we have this complete integrated uh, operation and a one-stop shop for a customer, so that basically creates a wow factor for our customers. So today we are capable of meeting any kind of expectation the customer has, whether it's his, whether it's related to a new product or a new technology or a new manufacturing process. So everything is available in our company today to meet those customer expectations. Okay, and uh, Mr. Jay, uh, when you talk of the uh, ex extrusion based uh, uh, process, what does it involve? I mean, is this technology a little complicated? Uh, on the surface of it, it looks like a very easy technology to deal with. But once you get into uh, a deep dive in it, it's very complicated to control the material and the tolerances that we operate on. So we are operating somewhere in the range of 10 to 50 microns to build these products that we do. And that is a very pain taking process for us. Okay, is, is, is this a technology that you've mastered over the last several years? Well, initially, uh, we have uh, technology partnerships with two Japanese companies. And uh, one of the companies, Tokai Kogyo, we've been working since 1989. So we've been associated with them for over 30 years now. So initially, we got the technology transfer from, uh, from Tokai Kogyo. And uh, over the years, our team has developed their own capabilities to master the technology by themselves. So now we are only dependent on our technology partners for the initial product designs and uh, rest of the, the supply chain and the manufacturing design, everything is being done by our team uh, in-house. And, and, and you have plants located in Noida, Greater Noida and Chennai uh, and even in Patredi in Rajasthan. Yes. Uh, can you talk to us briefly about these plants, you know, what are the capacities like? Is there a mother plant here and, and do you make a mix of products in these plants? So initially we were a north based company and we were operating only out of these uh, factories in Noida. So uh, in 2014 we decided that we want to be closer to the customer. So that is when we started uh, establishing our plants outside of NCR. So Patridi we established in Rajasthan then we established our uh, presence in Chennai and most recent is the plant in uh, Gujarat where the new automotive hub is getting made. So now we are present in all the automotive hubs in, uh, in India and the way we manage uh, these uh, our entire businesses that uh, so this Noida facility is our corporate office and it is also serving as the mother plant of the extrusion business. So our extrusion business is spread across uh, two locations right now and the third location in Gujarat is getting built. So we are operating in Noida, operating in Chennai and in Gujarat. And the mother plant is in this uh, premises. Then we've got a uh, mother plant of injection business in our plant located just about 25 kilometers from here in Surajpur. So that plant is responsible to handle our Pathredi plant and the Gujarat plant. So this is how we've kind of spread 
the the businesses across the plants and this is how we are trying to manage them efficiently so where are you based in gujarat so gujarat we are based in uh, viramgam so this is where the suzuki motor plant is uh, is now started operations so, so our plant is located about uh, 35 kilometers from uh, suzuki motors gujarat plant so is is your business primarily into uh, into car makers or do you supply products your products to maybe cvs or uh, other segments cvs and two wheelers is a very uh, very nascent segment for us we've just started focusing on them for last two years so currently 97% of our sales is from the passenger vehicle segment and just about 3% is from the two wheeler and the commercial vehicle segment so commercial vehicles we we are actually doing a, a very new project of uh, making the complete uh, instrument panel for the new uh, sml isuzu trucks that are, that have been launched quite recently so in fact today only we had a visit from their top management in my plant so i was there in the morning so they are quite happy with the kind of uh, r&d we've done for them so it's a very new business segment that we've got into with the commercial vehicles you, you see there's a great future there in that area yes i we we are seeing lot of uh, opportunities will be present in that segment for us so as we go along uh, so jain uh, do you see a fair mix of business coming from these segments to i'm talking about the cvs and the two wheeler there will be a lot of uh, business coming in for us for new products but uh, primarily our majority sales will continue to be passenger vehicles because that is where our uh, main forte is okay and and what about uh, going beyond the products you're making today are you looking at perhaps expanding in in a way that you make more products or 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 products in a different shape and size like the one you mentioned uh, for the value addition you did for the cv makers yes so are you looking at those areas so our basic strategy for growth is that we want to stick to our core competence and uh, build on more value added products in those uh, in these two product segments that we operate in basically the automotive body sealing systems and the injection products so there's a lot of opportunity for higher value added products in both of these uh, these processes and we are continuously evaluating opportunities in that so like this uh, instrument panel for the commercial vehicle basically is from the injection molding business uses the basic processes in injection so we've gone from a basic simple molded product to a complete sub assembly of an instrument panel so that is how we want to grow this business in future and you want to remain in this business uh, not diversify perhaps into some unrelated business at this point not at this point i believe we've got a lot of opportunities still to to take on in the product segments that we have today so once we feel that we are up to saturation in all in this segment then probably we'll have a chance to look at some other segment but at this point of time we see lot of opportunity coming in in these two product segments is for us so jane is it right for me to assume that your business primarily comes from the domestic market and if at all there is any exports is basically vehicles exported out of india do you do any kind of a direct export or is there is there a scope for that we don't do any direct exports from the company but we do lot of uh, ckd exports so apart from the vehicles that are exported made in india we also supply a lot of components to these vehicle manufacturers which are exported by them as ckd kits for the vehicles which are produced in uh, outside countries okay so we've got today uh, we export parts for vehicles which are produced in japan in thailand in mexico even south america venezuela argentina so so those kind of uh, exports are done by us and that contributes roughly about 10% of the top line 
but is the, is the, is that a, is that still an indirect business indirect export or is this the direct export no it's a indirect export so basically all these companies they have a, a procurement center in india so we supply locally to them okay. and then they do some export packaging and all and then they supply to their mother companies or sister companies all over the globe and you see this pie growing the export uh, yes we started off with one model today we are doing approximately 5 or 6 models and we see a lot of opportunities coming in from this uh, area as well one last question is we've seen your uh, revenues grow over the last few years in fact it's kind of doubled if you see from 2014 onwards that's a little beyond 400 crores uh, do you have a target a vision uh, what is it i mean do you want to increase uh a double it perhaps or 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 maybe going for organic or in or inorganic growth in the, in the times to come so like i i told i just told you so we are not we are very focused on uh, what we want to do in future and we want to stick to our core competence right now and uh, for growth we are just not uh, chasing top line so we firmly believe that top line is just pure vanity and if we focus on top line then there's no value addition coming in in the company so what we are very aggressively chasing and we are very sensitive towards is profitable growth so we want to grow as long as the products and the customer is adding value to the bottom line of the company if there's no bottom line then there's no point of uh, growing just increasing the top line so that's a very firm rule that we have in the company and that is why if you've seen over the past 4 years we've increased the top line not so aggressively but our bottom line has been very aggressively grown and we are very confident of a ve- of establishing a very fundamental and a very strong base for the company so that we've got a good future and we can build a good and a long term stable kind of a company on it okay wonderful thank you so much for sparing your time it's been my pleasure thank you so much